Hey, it's Mike Hobbs here, and I actually had the privilege of seeing a guy named Gary Vandercheck on stage this last weekend. And one of the things that I got out of what he uh, had to provide as value. Now, if you don't know him, real quick, he's he's actually the guy who created the book Crush It. Uh, you know, he has very colorful language uh, per se. I mean, every other word, he, you know, he can he swears he keeps the entire uh, audience engaged. Uh, it was actually amazing to see. Uh, but here's the thing I want you to really take out of this. Because he has colorful language, a lot of people will look at that, uh, not a lot, because the whole crowd was just completely engaged the whole time. There's no other speaker that kept everyone engaged except for him. It was, it was really an interesting thing. Uh, but, you know, there are some people in the audience that probably heard the swear words or, or whatever, and they were like, offended. They get offended. Uh, we have another mentor of ours, David Wood, who occasionally has says a swear word, and some people will get offended. Well, I want you to to really think about this real quick, okay? You can't. I, I want you to. This is actually a lesson that you can take for the rest of your life, okay? If someone's making a lot of money or they have a lot of value uh, to share with people, you can't let your own beliefs of what is morally right block you from receiving the value that that person is actually sharing. Because here's what happens. Sometimes someone will hear a swear word and they'll be completely closed off. Like that person can be telling you how to make a million dollars this year. He can be telling you exactly how to make a million dollars this year. But because you hear a swear word, Everything is blocked off. This is a crutch. This will actually hold you back from really hitting a, hitting your goals. All right. So you can't let your moral values or thoughts hold you back from actually what that person has to share in value. You can actually pick that value out of what is he trying to get across? What is he sharing? Because here, there are a lot of people probably miss this from that guy. Not a lot. The whole crowd was completely engaged. But some people probably miss this. He actually talked about, you know, humanity. You know, keeping your customers happy. You know, actually, you know, giving a crap about your customers. Okay, and and not losing sight of humanity is how he put it. Don't lose sight of humanity because here's the problem. You know, billboards. You know, all these traditional advertising. Everybody's skipping through commercials on TV. They don't look at the billboards anymore. They don't. They could barely even watch the road. Right? They're texting. Uh, the, all these traditional advertising sources are going away. And he talked a lot about social media, and that's where marketing and that's where everything is starting to go because people want to be engaged. They want to build relationships. They want to see real people. So when they when they join an automated service, you know, because I have a lot of systems out there that are almost 100% automated. But here's the deal: every customer that joins our business, we actually have a human being calling them and welcoming them to the team and getting them started with our training. Okay, that's what we do personally. Now, I could do it in the in the beginning myself, but eventually when you don't have a lot of time, you should still have that customer relationship. Okay? Do you have to call leads? You have to prospect? I mean, that's up to you. But the bottom line is at least keep the humanity inside this industry because What's happening is people are going too crazy with the automation and they're not outsourcing the humanity part of the, the transaction. And here's what's going to happen. Someone will join your business. They won't think that there's anybody there. It's real. And they'll quit. They'll jump to the next thing because the Internet is becoming too automated nowadays. You've got to keep the humanity in the business. Okay, so whether you call your new customer and just thank them, you don't even have to upsell them, you don't have to do anything. As long as you just let them know you're there and what the next steps are, that's all you really got to do to keep a customer happy. Okay, as long as you do that. Now, you don't have to do that when you get busy like me. I'd be calling hundreds of people every day, hundreds of people every day, which I don't have time for. So what do I do? I hire somebody to do it for me. Okay? You can have assistants. You can have virtual assistants. You can have people that are coaches on your team. 
you can still keep this humanity in this business okay so the two lessons today you know follow up with your customers and actually let them feel welcome and don't let people who swear you know hold you back from actually receiving the value they have to offer so with that my friends make it a great day let me know if you agree or disagree below uh, I love to hear your feedback and share this video if you feel that someone can gain value from it. So with that, uh, prosperity is yours.